Hello, today I show you how to use Christmas second version Photoshop action and here is some of results which you can make with this action. Okay, and firstly some recommendation for optimal use of action. Use a good quality pictures. I recommend using a photo with a resolution of at least 3000 pixels on one axis or more. And if you use photo with too small resolution, just open your photo, then go to image, image size and change width or height value to 3000. Okay. And before you use action, you need to do the steps. First step, make sure you're using the English version of Photoshop. And if you use version with another language, watch the video how to change language. The link under this video. Second step, go to image, mod, and check the RGB color and 8 bits channel. And last step, just for CS5 and highest version, click on menu icon at the right, Select panel options and check the add copy to copy lesson groups. Okay, that's all. Now, how to use action. Firstly, open your photo. And very important moment, your photo need to have the background view. So if your photo have this view, this view, you just need to select the photo, then go to the layer, new, and select background from layer. Now it's OK. Open brushes file. For that, go to the Edit, Presets, Preset Manager. In Preset tab, select Brushes, click Load, go to the Download folder and just make double click on Christmas to Brushes file. OK, done. The next step, go to Window, Actions, Click on menu icon in the right, select load actions, then go to your download folder again and make double click on Christmas to Photoshop action. Okay, the next step, create a new layer and name it area and please don't use the caps lock. Paint on this layer the area what you need to focus that you can use brush tool with any color and you can use one of less tool if you use brush tool make sure that your opacity of brush is 100 percent okay today i'm gonna use lesser tool I use red color and paint bucket tool. That's done. So the next step, you need to create a little more space for the effect. For that you can use crop tool, just select crop tool and scale the frame. Okay, and 
Next step, go to Actions panel, find action on the action list, open it and click play. But before you click play, make sure that the opacity of brush is 100%. Okay, click play. Wait a few minutes that Photoshop make all actions. Speed of action work depends on the power of your computer. And I'm little scroll this step. Okay, and when action finishes work, you can change the final composition. And now I show you how to make this. In final composition, we have 11 folders. It's background elements, back watercolors, back snowflakes, front watercolor, front snowflakes, bokeh, your object folder, your text folder, light on object, light particles, and color adjustments folder. So let's start from background elements folder. In this folder, you can change the background color. Just make double click on background color icon and select the color what you need. Also in this folder, you can change the color of background color tone. and the opacity of this layer. This folder contains blue shadow and background frame. And here you can change the color of background frame. And in this folder, you can change the color of background snowflakes. Okay, the next folder is backwater colors. In this folder, we have watercolor lace, and we can change the brightness and contrast of back watercolors. And we can change the color of watercolors. Okay, the next folder is back snowflakes. In this folder you can change the color of snowflakes. Just make visible color layer. Make double click and select the color what you need. The next folder is front watercolor. In this folder you can change the brightness and contrast and the color of watercolor like in back watercolor folder. The next is front snowflakes. In this folder you can change the color of front snowflakes. And if you need to erase some of space of one of these folders, one of these effects, you just need to select the layer mask folder. Maybe you need to erase front snowflakes. So select layer mask, select brush tool, 
then select black color and just paint on this layer mask and you can erase this effect if you need to make visible this effect just select white color and paint on layer mask so black color to erase and white color to make visible it's very easy the next folder it's bokeh folder in this folder we can change the color of bokeh and we can change the opacity of this layer and in your object folder we can change the brightness and contrast of your area in the your text folder you can change the text and the font of this layer in my preview images i use three fonts it's fonts free for personal and commercial use so the link on these fonts you can find in the help file txt file in the download folder with this action in preview image i use suite december text let's change the font Now it's like in preview image. And the next folder, it's light on object. In this folder you can change the color of light. The next folder it's light particles. This folder contains particles less. And if you need to erase some space of this effect, just select layer mask of this folder, select brush tool, black color, and paint on this layer mask. If you need to make visible, use white color. And the last folder, it's color adjustments folder. This folder contains more contrast option. It's very cool option. And in this folder, you can add color tone to all image. You can change the color and opacity of this layer. And you can change the brightness and contrast of all image. So 
here is a result. Now it's ready. Just save. Thanks for watching and good luck.